Hey everybody, I'm Cody. And I'm Victoria. Nissan gave us some trucks loaded with their newest overlanding accessories and gear. Come check out how to make your campsite as epic as your adventure. Alabama Hills is one of our favorite places, and it had more than enough trails for a full day of exploring. We got to really test out the Nismo gear. As you can see, we got a pretty good jump on setup for the night. Now, Nismo has hooked us up with what I would consider some of the essentials, so we're gonna give you guys a little tour and check it out. We've got Winnie over here working on some dinner. Now, let me just tell you, portable power has been probably the biggest game changer for us when it comes to doing this whole overlanding thing. So tell me, what do we got going on here? So we got our big boy 1800 watt cube that's currently powering our chili cooker. Ooh, chili tonight. Yeah, we're so excited. Got the baguette, nice. Mm -hmm. What else, drone batteries going already? Yeah, that's be great we, got for a, tomorrow. we got our phone, our AirPods. And this light's going too, yeah? Mm -hmm. Nice, cool. Yeah. That's way awesome. better than cooking over the campfire like we normally do. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And then over here, we've got the smaller guy. Jake, what is this one? This is a 500 watt cube? This is our accessory cube. Yeah, nice. This is perfect for the smaller devices. we got the radios going. Plug in the phone, yeah. Might Ready. need that tomorrow. Got to keep all the important necessities yeah. charged. You Bluetooth know? speaker, maybe get some music going. Got to keep the uh, camp bikes. Yeah. We've also got the rooftop tent set up on both of these trucks. Going to be honest, I'm kind of looking forward to getting into one of those. but. Victoria over here has the solar panels. Now, Nismo has two versions. They have the 100 watt and the 200 watt. And they're super easy to set up. They just fold out. They have great durable fabric on the outside. They're pretty awesome. That happens. Second go around. Tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Yesterday, we had an epic day of off-roading and hanging out with our friends. And today, we're gonna go check out the Cerro Gordo ghost town. But first, I think we're gonna get some breakfast going. Oh yeah, let's uh, Nismo hooked us up with a ton of coolers. We went all in on packing. Everybody knows the most important part about camping is the food. And these coolers are really heavy duty. The freezer style ceiling gaskets are key to keeping your food cold longer. Nismo sent us two rinse setups to try out and this is the portable one. Super easy to move around and we have a hands-free nozzle over here that's convenient. There's an LED display here that'll show the battery life and water temperature. But probably one of my favorite things is you can actually get a heater for it. So it's great for washing dishes or if you want to rinse off. And this makes a great addition to your rinse setup. Jake actually has the rack version of the rinse setup over here on the Titan. Let's take a look at that and some of the other Nismo gear we got. How's this thing going for you? This thing's super cool. Pretty yeah. much has all the same features as your setup, but this one just mounts the roof rack out of the way. Yeah, I see it's got the nice seven foot hose, which that would come in handy for washing the bikes. Or honestly, I would probably take a shower with it too. So all the things. We're packed up and ready to head out for the last leg of our trip. We had such an epic trip up here and thanks to Nissan, we got to hang out with some friends, check out some amazing trails and try out all the really rad Nismo gear. And I think we have our eyes on some new pieces that we want to add to our kit. But we had a blast and we hope to do it again soon and bring you along with us.